and this is something else I stand firm on and ten toes down on. If a man is not going to put his life on the line, meaning cover you spiritually, financially, uh, physically, everything, then do not put your life and your body on the line to have his child. I don't think men who don't desire marriage should have children. And I say this because men want, and again, not God-fearing you know, not the secure ones. I'm talking about the insecure ones. A lot of men want the perks of legacy of children, of kids having their last name, and they did nothing to work for it. So don't be bamboozled. Just wait, be patient. And I know it's harder out here and it's a whole different time. A lot of people don't desire marriage, but I think it's because we're giving them all the perks without them having to work for all the perks. So if you want to be married, just hold out. I know it's hard. I know it could take a long time, but it's worth it. Another thing I can't stand that we fall for all the time is marriage doesn't guarantee security. Marriage doesn't guarantee you're going to have a happy life. For women, it gives you more of a chance because, and I'm, I'm not bashing single moms. If you're a single mom, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to the young ladies who haven't had children yet. You're giving yourself a, a better chance, a better outcome if you are married and i'm not saying this from a place of sitting on a high horse believe me if it wasn't for god hello if it wasn't for certain things then i possibly too could have been a single mom but now on the other side of being married and being covered there are men who don't even like their wives but will fight and protect and take care of them because that's their wife so don't let people say that titles don't matter all of that that is a lie that is a lie. Men do not play about their wives, whether they like them or not. So you give yourself a better chance as a woman to be covered in marriage than doing it single. Just my opinion. Ladies, do you believe in marry before you carry? Let me know whether or not you agree in the comments. Oh, I want you to have my baby. If a man asks you that, run. What, what happened to the ring? What happened to the wig? What happened to my house? What happened to my car? You know what I'm saying? Oh, girl, he want me to have his thing. Okay, fool, go ahead. I I would say, you know, I want you to have my wedding. Give me, give me, give me the ring, give me the name, and give me a house and a car and somewhere for the baby to live. You know what I'm saying? Anyone who fell for that, I'm sorry for you. This comment right here, marry before you carry. Um, you must don't know it's still people out here that's married and still out here having to be single moms or single fathers just because you married that don't mean nothing. Just because you married don't obligate nobody to take care take care of their child. If they don't not if they not gonna do it, they're not gonna do it. You missed the whole point of the video, honey. You need to go back and listen and also read. Marrying somebody do not always make things better. I don't know where y'all get that from. It's a lot of people on this app right now is married and going through hey, with their partner, male or female. So don't get it twisted just because you're married to someone. It's going to make everything better. It do not. It do not. Here's why I choose marriage before the carriage. I believe for two people to decide if they should officially spend the rest of their life together, they should do so without outside forces, which in some cases can be a situation of having a child before marriage. In the dating or courting phase is the time where you get to ask a person their views on kids. If it's a no for them, but a yes for you, that might be a deal breaker to many to cut things off and proceed no further. In the world, people still have these same opposing views, but sleep with each other regardless, create life, and end up stuck with this partner and a lifetime commitment of a child. But I believe there is safety and stability in two people coming together in the realms of marriage to create life and say, hey, you know what? We might not have planned for this at this date and time, but mentally we are ready and in this regardless. To a child, knowing your parents are married literally speaks volumes. As a child you know they made a promise to be there for each other and as a child there's just something about that promise that makes them feel as if i know my parents are going to be there for me as well and biblically i just believe that marriage is honorable and i want to follow in the steps of my foremothers and forefathers and doing things according to god's way now as a woman you're probably asking well how the hell am i supposed to know when this man is trying to have a trap baby all right let me give you some tips some warning signs to be aware of warning number one he talks about having your baby before he talks about marrying you let me explain something to you 
if a man is serious about being in your life, being committed to you, pouring into your needs, then he will be willing to discuss marriage. He will be willing to consider long-term commitment. When that man can't even talk marriage, but he's talking about, can you have my baby? You better run. Run for the hills, all right? This man is trying to set you up. And it sounds funny, but I'm telling you, this is for real. This is happening as we speak right now. And many of you listening to this podcast have experienced this. First dates, second dates, this man is already talking about putting the baby in you. But not talking about taking you to the courthouse. Not, let's go ring shopping. Not, what kind of house you want to live in? (laughs) No, none of that. Because all he wants is to make sure he locked you in and you can't go anywhere. I'm going to tell y'all this right now. No man is worth having a baby for if he hasn't even committed to you as his wife. And I don't want to hear nothing about how marriage is a piece of paper. Because that's just how this life works. You have to physically commit to me. Yes, we have to say out of our mouth we commit to each other. I need to see it in writing, my boy. I need to know certain things is going to be in order. Because humans, they're not perfect. They're humans. And they're bound to make an error. You won't make no error on me, baby. I, I, I need to have a contract that says if you cheat on me, What's going to happen, this and that, once we get married? I need all that established, baby. I'm not just birthing no churn out for you because you cute and I fell in love with you. And I, 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 Real life, baby, I'm not impregnating myself, putting a seed in my body, creating a whole nother vessel for somebody that's not married to me, somebody that's not committed to me, somebody that don't even see me fit to be a wife, sees me fit to be a mother. Or somebody that you see fit to be a dad before you see fit to be a husband? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And that's not to say that people who get married don't get separated and then they end up being single. But that's that. at least let's start there, though. Let's start there. Let's try to build stability foundation first. If it don't work out, it just don't work out. And sometimes relationships don't work out because some of y'all just stupid. And y'all settle, and y'all don't want to do the work that it really requires to, like, be in love with somebody, stay in love, stay committed, and be disciplined, and be in a whole happy, healthy, thriving relationship. So, and that's a whole nother conversation. But anyways, I just, like, pregnancy is not even, like, it don't give sacred no more. It don't give, like, special. Like, it's just, like, Boom, she pregnant, he pregnant, he pregnant, they pregnant. Ooh, they pregnant. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like, is this a game to y'all? This is real life. He's a kid. He's a kid. You don't think kids deserve to grow up in a um, functional house, household where there's two parents that they, they can see an example of love. They can see true friendship. You don't think kids deserve to have that model for them? Y'all kill that for them before the kids even get here. Like, then some of y'all be having toxic relationships. Y'all trapping people, making them be your baby daddy, making them be your baby mama. Like, y'all are insane. That is so crazy selfish that y'all just out here having children with no ring. I did a video about the toxic baby mama culture in the black community and it's linked in the description below but one thing i wanted to mention here is is that i know that a man can do you dirty whether or not you're married and i know that some people see marriage as just a piece of paper but that piece of paper carries a lot of weight if you want to start a family especially if you're gonna be a stay-at-home mom I don't think that women should glamorize being a baby mama because at the end of the day, struggling with raising a child by yourself is not cute. And having a man walk out on you with no legal justice and you're left to care for yourself and your kids, it's not cute. At least if he's going to leave you and leave you with the kids, you deserve to be legally compensated because if he's not married to you, good luck getting anything from it. 
And that's why we have so many women who struggle with their lives and with their goals and dreams after they have a child because they realize that they have to give so much of themselves physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially to raising a child that they have to forget about themselves altogether. And because it's easier for the men to walk out on you when you have a child, most times the kids end up with the moms and the men are out living their lives as if nothing ever happened. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about marry before you carry? I'll see you in my next video.